Hi everyone, Ivan here. At the last Sydney Drupal Users Group, I did a lightning talk about Page Manager and Panels in Drupal 8. I demonstrate how to use both modules by installing them and creating a custom homepage. Just a heads up, I do talk pretty quickly in the video because it is a lightning talk and I only have five minutes, but the whole thing ends up being around 12 minutes. Also, the sound quality isn't perfect because I'm using my generic Apple headphones as a mic. But other than that, I had a great night and thanks to the other presenters, Alistair and Kim, for their presentations. So if you're based in Sydney or visiting, come to our monthly meetup where you can talk freely about Drupal while having free pizzas and beer. Link to the group will be in the show notes. So enjoy the video. So panels. Who, ha who here has used panels in the past? All right, cool. Who loves panels? All right, who hates panels? Oh, really? You can't choose both, Ryan. That's unfair. Um, okay, so panels in... Pam, are you timing this? All right, thank you. Okay, so things have changed in panels for Drupal 8. A lot of panels functionality, like the UI, to actually put things into regions has now been implemented using Page Manager. And if people have used Page Manager in Drupal 7, they would have remembered that Page Manager was part of CTools. But now Page Manager um, is its own project, okay? So if you read this, this is probably out of date. This kind of explains how, how it goes, but things are kind of more streamlined now. Page Manager helps you manage pages. And that's it. There's still C tools for Drupal, for Drupal 8. And another thing for Drupal 8, which is pretty good, is that um, there's a plugin, sorry, there's a module called Layout Plugin, which standardizes on a proper layout system. Whereas in Drupal 7, Display Suite and Panels would implement their own type of templating layout system. Right now, there's one called Layout Plugin. And I think there was even talk of putting that into core eventually. So with that, let me just jump right in and start building out a page and showing you how to do it. So, you, so this is my beautiful Drupal 8 site. And all I've done is we'll start off with Page Manager. And you have Page Manager and Page Manager UI. The concept's the same um, with any other module where there's a API and a UI module. So you come in here and you enable the Page Manager UI. And, yep, just install that. Just another quick thing. I know Kim was saying that um, Drupal 8 is very fast. It is, unless you um, set the caches to false while doing development, and then you realize that Drupal get, can get very slow if you don't have the render caching on. That's one thing I discovered. Yes. So here, okay, so all I've done is enabled Page Manager. I'm not even using panels and you get a nice little um, page here. And then to create a page, just click on Add Page. And I'll call this Home Page, because that's what we really use panels for. And um, yeah, and we, you don't use it. No, well, I use it fully, um, but I like to use it for the Home Page. Now, the UI, unfortunately, has changed. But I actually think, and this is my opinion, I know a lot of people hate panels because of the UI um, can be a bit cumbersome, but I think this UI, in, a, in, in some type of weird way, is more Drupal-ish in Drupal 8 than it is for Drupal 7. I don't know why, but to me, it feels a bit more simpler. I don't know, but that's just me. Um, so here, so a panel, sorry, a page manager, page, is broken up into three parts. You have parameters, which for, for, for this example, there are none, okay? But a parameter could be a node object or at some entity object. You have variants, and if you've used panels for Drupal 7, you would understand the concept of variants, where you can have different layouts depending on a particular condition. And then you have access conditions. Again, if you've used um, panels in Drupal 7, this is the same concept, but for Drupal 8, this is using the conditions API, whereas for Drupal 7, it used a CTools access plugin. Um, and, that's a, and that's another pretty cool subsystem which I discovered. So to create a variant, 
you get two options, HTTP status code and block page. Now, I'm not 100% sure this would simply return a status code. And that could be a 200, a 404, a 500, or whatever. Um, and, and Page Manager could do that in uh, Drupal 7. But this is the one that we want to use, and this is a block page. Now, at this point, this isn't panels yet. So all, all I'm doing is creating a page with a, with a layout. Well, no, no layout, actually. Um, where I can define blocks into the top and bottom region. This, this variant is really just a placeholder. You, you shouldn't use it. Most of, 90% of the time, you'll just install panels and go for it, and that's it. How am I going with time? Okay, sweet. Um, okay, so I might go a bit over time. Um, so, if you want to add in a block, you simply click, in, click on this, and I'll add in a page title and add a block. And as you can see, this, is, this looks similar to the, layout, uh, the block layout system. So, so the UI wouldn't be hard for a new person to learn. And I'll put in, I don't know, um, powered by Drupal, why not? Okay. And we save that. And right down at the bottom, we can hit save. And if we go to slash home, Oh, sorry, home page. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty basic, but that's it. Okay, there is no page title. But this is this is the actual this is the actual uh, block page page. So anyway. It's regions are yeah. the content region. That's it. That's it. So now let's install panels. And this is where things actually become interesting. So Panels itself doesn't offer a UI, okay? But it does offer two modules, Panels and Panels IPE. Panels IPE is inline panels editing. And that's where you can actually see the page and then add, add blocks into particular regions. So I'll just enable both and quickly install it. And, you, and the module just depends on layout plugin which is used to manage the actual layout. All right, so come down to pages. We'll go back to the home page. And we can add in another variant. But this time, we get panels. And I was actually trying to fiddle around with this, the editor and standard, um, and I was getting errors. So. And this is where you can actually select in, in place editor. But to, but to make life easier, we'll just select standard for now. And, and the layout is single column. And if I was to now add a, actually give me two seconds. Let me just create a block. All I'm gonna do is create a, some block content so we can actually see it see it working properly, test, and we'll just enter this in. Okay. So all I've done is created just a block content. Now if we come back to this page, we come here, and we should see up the top, oh, there we go, test. And just enter that in. All right. Now what I'll do is remove the other variant because we don't need it. But if I wanted to set up some type of condition and have panels uh, display instead of the page block, you could come into the variant and define your selection condition. So you could write either, um, you can select one of these or write your own, I think it's a plugin or whatever it is. And then plugin. it's a plugin, there you go. See, that's why I always use plugins, eh? Always use plugins. Um, and you can just write, write your own plugin. And it's pretty simple to create. Questions? Oh, no. Okay. So let me just, let me go back and just remove, delete this. And hit save. And should, uh, oh, I'll just, 
All right, yeah, okay, you have a block there, nothing fancy. Um, let's now do the inline editing. I don't think you can do that. Yeah, you cannot change the builder after it's been created, but maybe that's some other thing, I don't know. If we go into panels, select inline editing, oh, okay. Because the names are already created, are the machine names already used. And what I'll do is just add test in again. Sorry for going through this, but I know you all want to go home because it is nine o'clock. Well, this is a long day, a long night of drupling. Okay. And, oh, stupid. Okay. How not to name things, that's what this lightning talk should be called. Okay. Hopefully, this will actually work. Yeah, okay, sweet. If you can see, oh, no. Oh, bastard. Okay, we get this option down here. So we could, and if you want to sell panels to non-Drupal people, just show them this. And you can, you can edit it, you can add content. So I can go here, I can add a basic block and I can say, um, you know, how to use Drupal, install Drupal 6, you know, why not? Uh, scroll down, go edit, oh, add it to the middle region, and there you go, it's been added. Um, you can even, oh, sorry, and hit save then. Now, for Drupal 7, this has existed. Uh, if you want to see it actually working pretty well, look at Panoply. Um, they've actually set it up, and it looks brilliant in um, Panoply. But it's good to see that Panels actually works, which I was um, surprised, and works, and it works pretty well. Uh, yeah, any questions? So that's about it. So any questions? Yes? That um, first thing, the block page, it's actually not really meant to be used. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I know. It's just like a demo. Um, yeah. Yeah, because I had a look at the code and that was all in a, what is it, variant, some type of variant class and it's all hard-coded yeah. with two regions. So, yeah, don't use it. Just use panels. So you would always install panels with Page Manager, layout, plugins, and C tools. Um, but hopefully somebody can, yeah, style a pretty cool UI because this stuff will look pretty good once it's all working. And you can even change the layout. Hey, there you go. So, so if I go edit, whoa, there you go, done. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs>